In computing, a process is an instance of a computer program that is being executed. It contains the program code and its current activity. Depending on the operating system, a process may be made up of multiple threads of execution that execute instructions concurrently. A computer program is a passive collection of instructions. A process is the actual execution of those instructions. Several processes may be associated with the same program. For example, opening up several instances of the same program often means more than one process is being executed. Multitasking is a method to allow multiple processes to share processes and other system resources. Each CPU executes a single task at a time. However, multitasking allows each processor to switch between tasks that are being executed without having to wait for each task to finish. Depending on the operating system implementation, switches could be performed when tasks perform input-output operations, when a task indicates that it can be switched, or on hardware interrupts. A common form of multitasking is time sharing. Time sharing is a method to allow fast response for interactive user applications. In time sharing systems, context switches are performed rapidly. This makes it seem like multiple processes are being executed simultaneously on the same processor. The execution of multiple processes seemingly simultaneously is called concurrency. For security and reliability reasons most modern operating systems prevent direct communication between independent processes, providing strictly mediated and controlled inter-process communication functionality. Representation, in general, a computer system process consists of the following resources, an image of the executable machine code associated with a program. Memory, which includes the executable code, process-specific data, a call stack, and a heap to hold intermediate computation data generated during runtime. Operating system descriptors of resources that are allocated to the process, such as file descriptors or handles, and data sources and sinks. Security attributes, such as the process owner and the process set of permissions. Processor state, such as the content of registers, physical memory addressing, etc. The state is typically stored in computer registers when the process is executing, and in memory otherwise. The operating system holds most of this information about active processes in data structures called process control blocks. Any subset of resource, but typically at least the processor state, may be associated with each of the process threads in operating systems that support threads or daughter processes. The operating system keeps its processes separated and allocates the resources they need, so that they are less likely to interfere with each other and cause system failures. The operating system may also provide mechanisms for inter-process communication to enable processes to interact in safe and predictable ways. Process Management in Multitasking Operating Systems A multitasking operating system may just switch between processes to give the appearance of many processes executing concurrently or simultaneously, though in fact only one process can be executing at any one time on a single core CPU. It is usual to associate a single process with a main program, and daughter processes with any spin-off, parallel processes, which behave like asynchronous subroutines. A process is said to own resources, of which an image of its program is one such resource. Processes are often called tasks in embedded operating systems. The sense of process is something that takes up time, as opposed to memory, which is something that takes up space. The above description applies to both processes managed by an operating system, and processes as defined by process calculi. If a process requests something for which it must wait, it will be blocked. When the process is in the blocked state, it is eligible for swapping to disk, but this is transparent in a virtual memory system, where regions of a process's memory may be really on disk and not in main memory at any time. Note that even unused portions of active processes tasks are eligible for swapping to disk. All parts of an executing program and its data do not have to be in physical memory for the associated process to be active. Process states. An operating system kernel that allows multitasking needs processes to have certain states. Names for these states are not standardized, but they have similar functionality. 
First, the process is created it is loaded from a secondary storage device into main memory. After that the process scheduler assigns it the state waiting. While the process is waiting it waits for the scheduler to do a so-called context switch and load the process into the processor. The process state then becomes running, and the processor executes the process instructions. If a process needs to wait for a resource, it is assigned the blocked state. The process state is changed back to waiting, when the process no longer needs to wait. Once the process finishes execution, or is terminated by the operating system, it is no longer needed. The process is removed instantly or is moved to the terminated state. When removed, it just waits to be removed from main memory. Inter-process communication When processes communicate with each other it is called inter-process communication. Processes frequently need to communicate, for instance in a shell pipeline, the output of the first process need to pass to the second one, and so on to the other process. It is preferred in a well-structured way not using interrupts. It is even possible for the two processes to be running on different machines. The operating system may differ from one process to the other, therefore some mediator, S, are needed. History By the early 1960s computer control software had evolved from monitor control software, for example IBSYS, to executive control software. Over time, Computers got faster while computer time was still neither cheap nor fully utilized. Such an environment made multiprogramming possible and necessary. Multiprogramming means that several programs run at the same time, or concurrently. At first, more than one program ran on a single processor, as a result of underlying uniprocessor computer architecture, and they shared scarce and limited hardware resources. Multiprogramming is also a basic form of multiprocessing which is a much broader term. Programs consist of sequences of instructions for processes. A single processor can run only one instruction at a time, it is impossible to run more programs at the same time. A program might need some resource, such as an input device, which has a large delay, or a program might start some slow operation, such as sending output to a printer. This would lead to processor being idle. To keep the processor busy at all times, the execution of such a program is halted and the operating system switches the processor to run another program. To the user, it will appear that the programs run at the same time. Shortly thereafter, the notion of a program was expanded to the notion of an executing program and its context. The concept of a process was born. This became necessary with the invention of reentrant code. Threads came somewhat later. However, with the advent of time sharing, computer networks, multiple CPU, shared memory computers, etc., the old multiprogramming gave way to true multitasking, multiprocessing, and, later, multi threading. See also Notes References Further reading Ramsey H. R. Pacey Dusso and Andrea C. R. Pacey Dusso. Operating Systems Three Easy Pieces. Our Pacey Dusso books. Relevant chapters, Abstraction The Process The Process API, Gary D. Not A Proposal for Certain Process Management and Intercommunication Primitives ACM Sajops Operating Systems Review. Volume 8, Issue 4 PPA 7 A Euro 44, External Links, ProcessLibrary.com, Online Resource for Process Information, File.net, Computer Process Information Database and Forum.